guys uh, right now I'm here in Google Chrome uh, this is the latest version of Google Chrome and uh, one of the issues that we are we are having right now is with the use of flash there's many very old software or stuff that were used to run in the webs that use flash uh, and uh, I'm gonna try this ruffle flash player emulator and I'm using Google because what I'm gonna do is modify Firefox so I'm gonna download the emulator right from that web page there you know it's, you can simply put ruffle flash and that will show up so get the emulator and from the emulator go right here and download Firefox the emulator that is going to be running in Firefox now the idea is this you are running you're going to be running something that looks like flash obviously it's an emulator and the idea is that you will not use your Firefox for regular uh, uh, for web browsing uh, remember that uh, Google Chrome on the other hand is the is my regular uh, web viewer the one that I use for every day now Firefox I intentionally will use it only for running a particular uh, version of a of a code that use some somehow flash so in order to be able to use that very old stuff I have to have uh, flash otherwise I'm gonna have a problem like for example if I try to run right now this is my uh, uh, my, my Google Chrome if I run for example this application uh, that I'm trying to run it's called projectile motion and uh, if I run that obviously I get a weird stuff nothing seems to operate properly and and uh, so game over for trying to run on Google Chrome so but I what I will do is try let's go back here for one second let's go back here and let's download these but the one that is applied to Firefox and I will tell you why so you download here and you're gonna get this I already did it you get this and you download and uh, the next thing that you will do is you will go to your uh, Firefox and uh, and uh, here you will write something like uh, let's write about let's see about and uh, maybe debugging and uh, setup let's see and when you get that about debugging uh, Oh, that instruction there you get you're gonna get this this Firefox so there you will put you know press low temporary add-on whatever you have to add and then you put whatever you download already I download this guy here this the one that I said ruffle whatever here that's the one that you want all right so that will do and that's what the one the thing that you will need for now so I already did that so I don't, I don't want to do it again but eventually that will allow uh, your Firefox to operate flash or you know code that somehow need the flash emulator or the flash uh, software from Adobe that is no longer available so what we'll do you do what I did already so now my 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 Mozilla is already has these ruffle simulator so like for example right now uh, I need to make this able to work this uh, FET simulator so like for example right now if I hit these let's do it you know that that side you hit it you get this answer back if you want to run these you require flash player A uh, so attempt to run it in that way would not work but there's this legacy version because the new one I hate the new simulator that whatever they did to this uh, projectile motion uh, I don't like it that the newest version of this 
simulator uh, I don't like it now the old the legacy version work okay but I need you know as I said here attempt to view the simulation anyway so now it works because I have this ruffle that is taking care of it and it worked perfect it works the way it should be uh, a lot better than the newest version from uh, from FET so that's a comment that I have for this guy the newest version they limited too much like for example here I can put any speed that I want like you know like uh, let me put uh, 45 meter per second the angle is gonna be um, 45 uh, I can put any angle in fact in the new the newest version of this simulator uh, I don't like it it limits everything you want to go like that that way obviously that don't make any sense but you can fire down if you want to but the newest version of this uh, projectile motion simulator they limit it too much and uh, I like this a lot better can fire anywhere I want the newest version they limited between 25 and 90 it don't make any sense to me I mean the idea is to explore everything so going back let's put 45 here and uh, so the initial speed is 45 meter per second the mass let's say it's a small paper rocket uh, and that's why I like this version better let's see let's put uh, I don't know about 30 grams uh, that would be um, oh, sorry I'm missing a zero yes there we go that's about 30 grams yep 30 grams here and the diameter uh, let's make it small so it's point it's a paper rocket uh, let's say 0 0.02 that's about two centimeters with air resistant or no air resistant let's say that is with air resistant this is 0 0.05 and uh, and you want to hear the sound and you fire it looks good it looks like the way it used to be uh, so let's get this smaller and and basically you get the range uh, the elevation depending on what you are, are hitting here or there and uh, and the time since uh, there's uh, elevation from the from the launcher here so that's why you get this minus 1.02 anyway well that's basically it I like this version a lot more than the new one from uh, uh, from FED uh, let's take a look at the new version maybe let's see if I can operate the run the new version right here somewhere um, let's see let's copy this one second the newest version and let's put that one here uh, take me to the HTML newest version and uh, it's right here it looks more fancy maybe the graphics but uh, let's go here to the lab you see and maybe it's more for kids you know like you get this can you right here no you can't so they limit the mass that's a problem I I, I have less than one kilo I'm, I'm using a, you know a rocket bill on paper so it's very light the diameter I cannot go below 0.1 gravity is okay 9.81 uh, air resistant again you see if I if I you if you pick a cannonball then the drag is already fixed sorry for that now you go custom then you can you know put whatever you have to on the drag and there's a value a minimum value of 0.04 to 1 so there's a limitation in the math and to put the angle you see is you only can go from uh, 90 to 25 obviously go that way uh, so what I don't like about this version of, of, of the of the projectile motion is that they limit what you can do on it and uh, and they also limit uh, the input what kind of input you can put into the system um, that's the bad thing about this part here which which is why I'm staying with this old version user choice you put whatever you want you put the parameter here whatever you want and the, you fire and 
you get uh, pretty much the result here and uh, and that's it that's basically it